Welcome back to another Madden Ultimate Team 17 video. Today we're going to be reviewing a card in this one, but first I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping us hit 1,400 subscribers. Maybe we'll hit 1,500 real quickly, so make sure that if you do enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button. And also, if you enjoy, I would like to hit 50 likes this time. That would be awesome, guys, uh, for this first card review. But anyway, let's get right into the review. Today we're going to be looking at the 86 overall. Safety converted to middle linebacker, some call him a money back, Dayon Buchanan from the Arizona Cardinals. He has the coverage linebacker chemistry intact with Sean Lee, so he's 87. And check out MyRank.com. It has him ranked as the number one best user middle linebacker in all of Madden 17 Ultimate Team. The best you can get, even ahead of Brian Urlacher and Bobby Wagner, two cards that came out that are just looking real good. And this is an 86 overall. He's only 22,000 coins, according to MyEd.com, and he's only going to get lower this week, this team of the week. And uh, also 97 range, 97 coverage, 99 hands, pretty decent. And then 92 hit power out here on defense. That's very good. Also notable, his 88 speed is the best at any middle linebacker in the game, and second at acceleration with 89. His hands are very good, 75 spec catch, 74 catch in traffic, and uh, then you just want to make sure that you note 79 block shed, which isn't the best in the world. But this card makes up for it in other areas. And check this out for the player traits. Big hitter, yes, very important for a middle linebacker. You want to be hitting those players or those wide receivers they are coming over the middle. And then plays the ball in the air aggressively, which is also nice, especially considering he has such great jumping and just physical characteristics in general. But anyway, we'll compare him to Brian Urlacher right here. just came out. And uh, it's not super accurate. You know, you can take a look at the screen just in terms of their catching abilities because Brian Urlacher has certain stats that Dayon beat, but Brian Urlacher also has the hot hands chemistry. So I just want to point that out, but he does beat him in most physical categories. Same hit power. You know, this, this Dayon Buchanan card is a beast, and he is a baller on a budget. Like, if you don't have too many coins, or even if you're just looking for a great user, I'm going to recommend this card either way. He's phenomenal. Uh, and MuttRank.com also has him ranked as the third ba best balanced middle linebacker, second best coverage, and number one user middle linebacker. And uh, he is, you know, in terms of his hands on MuttHead.com, the best hands in the game, ahead of even Ray the Glitch Nitschke. That card is a monster. He caught everything, and he was slow. Imagine having that with Dayon Buchanan and even better ratings. And then here's the balanced linebackers. He's going to be behind uh, Brian Urlacher and Ray Nitschke. Again, I said he was number three. He's behind two very good overall middle linebackers. He's only 86 team of the week. He's a stud. But anyway, let's get into the gameplay and the review. First, we're going to be starting off with looking at his hands, and this means looking at some user footage and now I'm not the world's greatest user but I do have quite a few picks to show here in the few games that I've played with him let's get right into it so obviously a lot of this is going to have to do with the user and just you know day own speed and getting to the place he needs to be but check out the plays he's gonna make how he aggressively goes up and catches that ball that spec catch and jumping is gonna be showed off in these user clips very well again coming out now we're in the red zone and day own I'm just gonna sit here and you know show a little blitz bluff that and look at this look at the angle I take to come over and get that he is speedy and he's able to catch everything I have not dropped a pick with him yet there's gonna be a very close call later but I have not dropped one yet here we go right now we are losing in you know in the fourth quarter the very start and check out the clutch play by Dayon Buchanan coming across the middle to be able to go up and get that ball and now watch this on the return he takes it over to the sideline and thank you to the quarterback non-tackling glitch but he's able to take it all the way to the house and you think that play was clutch and that play was good but now check this out now with the Xbox record feature because I couldn't skip back enough and look lurking and he tips it up to himself and catches it and runs it back again to take the lead. Dayon Buchanan is the most clutch player out there. I don't care what anyone says after that. It is just so true. Now check this out. This is one of my favorite clips. Earlier in the game, this guy had run this play and I was able to get over there and lurk it. So I baited him. I knew he'd run a streak with Golden Tate. I saw him audible and I knew it was gonna be that. And check out the speed. We're gonna go back in slow-mo from the blitz on the other side of the bluff. He comes over and lurks and gets that ball, goes up and grabs it for the user interception. And now getting into the last user pick right here, off the Xbox record feature, check this one out. I couldn't miss this, I couldn't miss this. I had to put it in the video. One-handed pick for Dayon Buchanan. His hands are top notch. The next trait we're gonna be looking at is his hit power. And boy, oh boy, is it good at 92. One of the best middle linebackers in terms of his hit power. And right here, we're gonna show it off already. 
forcing a fumble. Check this out. Richard Sherman's going to miss the tackle, but the pursuit and all the way across the field, Dan Buchanan forced the fumble out of bounds. We weren't able to recover it, but he is going to be laying the boom on these running backs and wideouts and even tight ends all across the board. No matter the size, he can level people. Right there, putting a nice little hit on Doug Martin. Just showing off, not all the time is he going to get in an animation that will smack people even if he has a good opportunity to. Right here, check out this middle linebacker. Up the gut blitz on Cam Newton to level him. Unfortunately, we don't recover that. We're not going to recover any fumbles in this video. I have not recovered one that I have forced with him. But we do lay the boom right here on Adrian Peterson, just stuffing him in the backfield and putting him on his butt. He can level running backs. Like I said, right here again, crushing AP. He has the hit power that is top notch for a user. Next up, we're going to be looking at Dayon in the run game. And boy, oh boy, if you are using him, he is nothing short of phenomenal. Check this out here. Even though he only has 79 block shed, he's going to be able to very easily get around the outside and stop a wildcat reverse. So even though that block shed might be low, you're able to speed around outsides or get through gaps that you might normally not be able to get through. Check this out, covering the counter. That play is so tough to stop, I find. And right there, he's able to get outside and stop a huge running back like Derrick Henry in the backfield for a loss. Coming up on the next play right here, again, down in the middle of your screen, getting to the outside and stopping Adrian Peterson, another big running back. You're gonna see this all the time with him. He is fast, he pursues the ball so well. I wish I could just make an entire area on his pursuit because so often he is getting into plays that he has no business being able to make a tackle on. Like just across the field. Dayon is a playmaker and it's just gonna show in every single aspect of using him. Again, up the gut, bang, stopping AP in the tackle battle in the backfield. Once again, getting into one of my last clips, just a few left. And uh, right here we have a fourth and six, and Dayon is able to block shed and get over there and stop AP just before the first down, and that's actually going to force a rage quit. And I just want to show this in there. Dayon Buchanan makes people rage quit. We're getting to the end of these clips right here, but I just want to throw one of these in here. Rather than, you know, all highlights, Dayon's going to come up the gut and actually miss a tackle on Doug Martin right there, but was able to slow him down. And now the very last clip, Dayon, being able to stuff Doug Martin and win the tackle battle right up the gut. And lastly, we're going to look at Dayon Buchanan in the passing game, whether it's hitting people or being able to get a hand in there and swap the ball, whatever it may be, he does a very good job of this too. Check this out. Always trying to lurk the middle of the field, and right here he's going to be able to get his hand in there with a nice jumping animation. You're going to see this all the time out of Dayon Buchanan if you use him. He is constantly laying the boom on wide receivers over the middle, or being able to, right here again, get over there, make sure this pass gets incomplete. You know, this is what he does. Whether he gets to the ball in time to make the pick or not, most of the time he's able to make the play. Now again, starting it off, I pretty much always try to user him in just the direct middle of the field. And I don't know what's gonna happen here. We're gonna get a nice lurk up, come underneath, and we're gonna be able to get in there with Olivier Vernon and stop that pass from being completed. It's just very important in my opinion to have a middle linebacker that if you're not able to make the pick, they can still come over and swat the ball out of the wide receiver's hands. Like he's gonna be doing that in pretty much all these clips right here. And again, trying to lurk underneath. And what do you know, able to come up and hit Cam Newton. He's just so fast and able to make plays like that. You have to respect his playmaking ability. Dalen Buchanan, one of the best middle linebackers in the game. And I am about willing to say it. He's the best user middle linebacker in the game. Now, I need to use Brian Erlacher. That's the last test. But I don't see Brian Erlacher being better. Want to know why? Because Brian Erlacher is worth 550,000 coins. I think he's actually going for even higher today. Uh, Dayon Buchanan is cheap and he's a force to be reckoned with. Not to mention he is the coverage linebacker cam, which is very nice to pair up with a player like Sean Lee, or if you have Thomas Davis Sr., very good players that have that coveted chemistry that make them better coverage linebackers that are just going to make them all around better players. I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, drop a like. And uh, yeah, we're in the mi middle of a channel rebrand, and hopefully you guys are enjoying that and getting to see me grow a little bit right here with, uh, with my branding and my channel. But anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I highly recommend Dayon Buchanan for anyone out there looking for a good user middle linebacker. And I'll see you guys in the next card review.